Greetings, this is Frosty Thundertrod. Today I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, the beta version, uh, the beta of version 1.0.2. This is the long awaited super patch that was delayed by the legal wranglings between Atari, Hasbro, and various other agents, so it's actually forced the Enhanced Edition off the market for a while, but now it's back and has made some very exciting new changes. So, I'm going to give this a play here, and unlike normal, I'm not going to roleplay this at all. I'm going to go full cheese mode to try to show as much of the new content as possible. As you can hear the stuttering in this video, it is actually something related to my video card. It happens to the ATI um, 4 series, which I'm running a 4850, or the uh, NVIDIA 6 series. They specifically mentioned the 6200, so. All right, let's go mail, that's good, race, halfling, yeah, minus one wisdom, I'm not sure why they added that, but oh well. See, plus one tachyo bonus with slings, this used to be slings and darts. Alright, I'm going to go Barbarian. Alignment. Yeah, Lawful Evil. I normally play Neutral Good, but this is just a quick run through anyway. Let's see, need 80 points here. Close, 79, there we go, 82. Alright, since this is a complete cheese run. And here, that way I have average intelligence. Alright, my weapons are gonna be the sling. and the uh, X. Eventually I'm going to take single weapon style here. But for now I'll just use a shield. That's good enough. Okay. And we're going to name him Test. Alright, now first thing you're going to notice is the changes to the UI. I mean, look at this. Without all these extra borders, the transparencies let you see so much of what's going on around the world. See how much gold I got. But there is one bad thing to it. You know, I got used to having the button up here to click to close the screen, so that's not there anymore. Now you have to go over here. How much gold did I have? Uh, 160. That should be enough. Alright. Now you see a lot of the weapons got new icons. And I think they're pretty cool. A lot of them look like they're actually from Icewind Dale 2 which is the last of the Infinity Engine games, so... Alright. Well, let's... See, I might need 12 of these. Uh, one bolt. Large. 
shield, helmet, where's the slings, there's the sling, buy a sling, and of course an axe. I still have 11 gold points left, but I'm going to get a lot of money here quick-like. Now, see right there, 18 Tachio, you know, 4 to 11 damage. Not bad, that's a melee weapon. Won't be my main weapon, I just got it for a backup. Now, check this out. 14 Tachio, 5 to 8 damage. And, as you see here, I'm actually getting bonus taco from both strength and dexterity. As well as getting strength modifiers to my damage. This applies to all throwing weapons now except for darts. I'm not sure why darts don't get it, but I think it's because they get so many attacks. All right. Now let's do some random looting. See, why well, I consider this build cheese for a couple reasons. The saves from being a barbarian and the saves from high constitution as a halfling add up to some incredibly resistance. Plus, you know, I'm starting off with 16 hit points. Let's see here. Show the saves. Yeah, I mean, look at these saves already. Breath Weapon, 17. You know, Petrification Polymorph, 15. Rod Staff Wand, 11. Perilous Poison Death, 9. Spell, 12. Breath Weapon, 17. I mean... And this isn't even with when I've raged. Alright, now I can't open this chest here. But now check this out. And I can now open this chest and this one over here. Well, it might take a couple tries. There it goes. Alright. Now that gives me a thousand gold points right here at the start of the game. Only barbarians and thieves focused on open locks can actually open that chest and get that gem. Now you notice here, since I'm raged, my attack O for my axe is down to 15, and I'm doing 12 to 19 damage. Now check out my sling. 11. 13 to 16 damage. At this point, I'm completely outclassing a longbow. And it gets insane with the throwing axe. See if I can grab one here before my rage wears off. other stuff we're gonna need. Let's get some equipment for Emma one She'll need a short short a short sword. Some arrows. Let's get ten arrows for her. Coarse studded leather armor. Alright. 
now. Ah, my rage wore off. That's alright. Now let's do this. Yay! Alright, now, as you can see, just the throwing axe without rage. Got a pretty gar darn good tachyo of 15, 5 to 10 damage. Which right now, this puts me in about the same range as a uh, composite longbow. Now let's rage. Alright, my tachyo was 12 and 13 to 18 damage. That is darn impressive. And it gets even better with um, like a half orc barbarian using throwing axes. Has a max damage of 20. That's, you know, they can one hit themselves. <laughs> Alright. Now, I haven't just tested to see if this quest works yet or not. So let's go find out. Random Watcher. Come on, Tezreal. Where are you? There he is. Ah! This quest is working again. Very nice. Yay. Okay, that quest is working again. That's good. I mean, it's not a major quest, but you know, it's something that anyone's played this game for decades it's been around. It's used to just doing that. Right, I'm going to go over here and get my magic dagger. And then I'm going to skip out of Candle Keep. I think I ha we've seen this all enough. go and I got myself a nice dagger plus one. See? That icon odd, oddly enough hasn't changed, but oh well. Now the reason I chose axe for my melee weapon is eventually you get the throwing axe plus two, which you can use to melee or throw and it's a returning weapon. See why throwing axes are pretty darn powerful. Their weight really adds up. Darts don't have the weight problem, and so that's another advantage to darts. I think I would go with darts more if I was just going to be a fighter as opposed to a barbarian. That way you get all the extra skills that you can get mastery in them for the extra damage that way. And of course there's the Bracers of Archery too. You can go show Mr. Fastest Dart in the West a thing or two about fast darts.
that's it. Run for it. I actually like this improved battle. It makes more sense than it did in Baldur's Gate Vanilla. So in Baldur's Gate Vanilla, it made no sense that Saravak was actually able to defeat Garion. But here it makes complete sense here. With that dispel right there, now he's just kind of helpless. Now that that makes sense that Saravak would win that battle. set some scripts. See, I like to use a cleric aggressive for anything that's ranged because they won't waste their time trying to run around and they'll use um, ranged weapons first. It's, unless, of course, it is a cleric, then I'll use Wizard Aggressive instead. It does pretty much the same thing, but it won't try to cast any spells. See, Imowen's custom script has a serious problem with it. Because even though it defaults the bow, she always closes the melee range to, sh to shoot the bow. So, gotta change her script as well. There actually appears to be some new scripts in here. Like this one here, Fighter Aggressive. This is from Icewind Dale. Yeah, the Controlled. This is also something from Icewind Dale. This is a good script for an assassin. I have no idea what this means, oh, fight one. But custom defaults usually not very good. Oh, really? I haven't even done anything yet. what my Let's see here what is oh nine so that's the reason why she's a little bit upset my reputation's only nine that's okay It kind of wanders up as you play the game anyway, so. Full. Hey, get over here, Moin. I got something for you. We have some arrows. I like that it drops a little bit of leather armor now. That's clearly meant for Moin. Long sword. Maybe a short sword. Check my sure and change your proficiencies on me. Let's see. Nope. Still short swords, short bow. So as you can see by her stats, obviously you don't want 
any sort of melee weapon. I actually kind of like this voice set for him. So powerful. As you can see the speed bonus here, and that's kind of nice because it puts him out front where he's going to do the best since he's kind of a. Even though I got him using a sling right now, he really is kind of a tank build. Make you use a melee weapon. This wolf is living a charmed life, seriously. There it goes. I'm gonna go kill this ogre over here. Actually, since I used up my um, rage, I better rest quick like first. Alright. So remember, the ogre's right over here, so let's get ready for this fight. to die, Ogre. Ah. <laughs> yeah, here's some of my other saves. Okay, let's just go to friendly arm then this time. Since the dice don't seem to be favoring me right now. seems to rock so slow compared to test.
once again we're getting the sound stuttering from my sound from my video card actually. Alright. I'm gonna do a quick rest to recover my rage. Let's see if the ring of magic cheating is still over here. Yep, there it is. The ring of magic cheating. This damn mage here, Tarnish, has ended so many of my no reloads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fun. And I can copy it to my journal. How about that? Alright, here's Dorn. I'm going to eventually invite him to my party, but I can't do it now. Let's talk to Cleet and Jahir so we can steal their stuff. Staff sling. I mean, Jahir is still pretty much the same. How about Khalid? Yep, long sword, axe, long bow. I'm really not sure why he has that one point in axe. Would be much better off doing sword and shield style. But let's steal his stuff. Especially that potion of invisibility. <laughs> well, guess what? Thanks for the free gear to loot to sell. All right, I'm slowed. Gonna sell my ring of magic cheating just yet. So I'm gonna hold on to that helmet. Alrighty.
and that puts us at about a half hour, so that'll be it for first episode. Thank you very much for watching.